Welcome back to Hooked on Brew, guys. I'm just down here finishing up the basement, which is why it may sound echoey. Uh, I finished up the basement for my niece to have her own fortress of solitude away from the parents. And she's a teenager now, so I'm trying to give her her space. Uh, but while I was down here, you know, yelling down some wood, painting. I got to thinking, you know, I enjoy drinking beer so much, but how do I enjoy drinking beer the most? Or let me rephrase that. How do I like to drink my beer? Well, we'll put it that way. You know, some people like to drink beer out of a can, out of a bottle, out of a glass, straight from the keg, however. Uh, but my personal preference, from straight from the brew, my personal preference is frozen mug from a can or just a frozen mug. It doesn't matter. I love to drink beer straight from a frozen mug. It tries, it, drinking from a frozen mug keeps your beer colder and therefore is more enjoyable. No one wants hot beer, you want cold beer. So let's drink ours from the mug. Mmm. When you pour it into a mug, you gotta pour it at a slight angle to keep, you know, too much head from being on top of the beer. But like I said, drinking from a mug is the best way to drink a beer. Bar none. Any other method is completely wrong. Drinking from a mug is the best. What's that sound? Is that, is that bluegrass music? What is that? Who are you? And how'd you get in my house? Hey, your name's Billy Bob. And your mother-in-law let me in. She's a nice lady. Yeah, that's bluegrass music. That is bluegrass music. It, it, it follows me everywhere I go. Now, you said that you drink beer from a mug, and I say that is not the best way to drink beer. What do you mean drinking from a mug is not the best way to drink beer? Yes, it is. Now, when you work down on a chicken farm, oh, by the way, I'm your neighbor. I live right down the street. You know that chicken farm? Yeah, I run that chicken farm. Hey, hold on a second. You look awfully familiar. But you recognize me because I'm your neighbor. you probably seen me before. I mean, you're my neighbor. I've never seen you before. Weird, man. How do, how do random people just show up at your house? Now, the best way, son, to drink beer is you take this there can and you take a knife with this there, that Lady Liberty on it, America. You take these two and you poke a hole in it and you shotgun it. That's, that's the best way to drink beer. Oh, you better not do that. That's a 16 ounce can. That's gonna be too cold. It ain't gonna be too cold because you know what? I've been I've been doing this before. I've done this plenty of times. So you, you poke the hole. Oh! You poke the hole like I just did. Then you drink the beer. Mmm. Alright. Now that, son, mm, is how you drink the beer. Well, I got to be going now. I got some chickens to tend to. So i see you later. Alright, well, that's your way of drinking beer. I still prefer the mug. Alright, well, have a good day, Billy Bob. Weird, man. How do people just show up at your house? Unannounced. People you've never even met. That's a strange encounter. Oh my god, now who's this? What's up, bro, dude? I heard you were filming a video about drinking beer. And no bros drink beer better than us frat bros, man. Yeah, man, by the way, my name is Zach Friday, but people just call me Spicy J, dog. D dude, they call me Spicy J because I make the girls. You know, ayo. And why do you have so many collared shirts on? Bro, you pop these collars because the chicks dig the collars. The more collars you got, the more chicks you can get. Psh, who's this cat? Dude, drinking beer from a mug and shotgun a beer, that's old school, y'all, man. Bro, you have got to be down with the times. What do you mean that drinking out of a mug 
and shotgun a beer are not the two best ways to drink beer. What way do you drink beer? And what is that music you're listening to? That's awful. Yeah, dude, that is EDN. That's electronic dance music. You gotta have those tunes going. You gotta have those tunes going, man. If you're gonna drink, you gotta get the ladies involved. They gotta be moving. You gotta get those tunes going. EDM? What the heck is EDM? I've never heard of EDM. It's dance music. You know what we do these days, dog? Let me show you. To drink brew like a frat kid, bro, you got to do five steps. Ayo, step number one. You gotta blow a sick cloud, bro. Sick cloud. Step number two, you gotta have a funnel full of beer. You get that funnel, bro. You gotta have that funnel, bro, full of beer. Step number three, you hold the funnel up like so. What is that, man, a garden hose? You change your oil with that? What are you doing with that thing? But then, you have to take that Instagram shot, bro. Did you just take a selfie while chugging a beer? Yes, I did just take a selfie while I'm funneling a beer, bro. Step four, you got to funnel the beer. That's a major head rush, bro. That's why you funnel. You get there quicker. Get there quicker. That's what drink is about. Getting there quicker. Step five, after you funnel your beer, you gotta take a shot of the closest hard liquor that is around you. In this case, we have Maker's Mark. Oh. That is how you drink beer like you in college, not like you these old men. All right, man, I gotta hit my tunes. My crew's over there waiting on me. We gotta bounce. Later, bro. All right, man, well, see you later, bro. Pfft. These cats are crazy. I've got to get new locks on this door. I don't understand why these people I've never met are showing up at my house. This is the Brews house. You know what? Screw it. They think their methods are better, I got one even better. All right guys, hold on, I'll be right back. Guess what I got? Das Boot. This is the best way to drink beer. And guess what, it's still a mug. Now that's how you drink a beer. Brew out.